Diego Zuluaga from Quick Stalling. We are here at the Indy Arena of PSGS 2016. Joined on my right side is my co-host, Harold Sylvester. Hey, what's up, Harold? How you doing? Hey, guys. What's up? And of course, we, we are both very, very nervous today because we are joined by the legendary Koji Igarashi. All right, for those of you who know, or who don't know, uh, which is probably a few of you, only a few of you, uh, Koji is one of the lead developers behind uh, Ca the Castlevania series. And of course, he's come out with a, a, a fun little game for us here called Bloodstain Symphony of the Night, uh, Ritual of the Night, I'm sorry, <laughs> Ritual of the Night. So uh, let's find out more about the game, shall we? Sure. All right, so uh, it's for Bloodstain, uh, this started off as a Kickstarter campaign, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, so uh, from what we know, uh, he bounced around from different uh, publishers in Japan and never got any traction. Uh, why go to Kickstarter? えっと、まずあの、ブラッドステインを立ち上げるためにえっと、え、最終的にそのパブリッシャーがその市場性があることを証明したらあのいいんじゃないですかねみたいな話になってでその市場性を証明するのにキックスターターを今回使ったというのがあのまあ始まりですね。Um at first um we we've actually went around um to go to many many publishers but right. um uh they were they were all interested but since Bloodstained um costs a lot of money um mm -hmm. any kind of game that that's you know, like a console game costs a lot of money. So, um, you know, the publishers were like, um, it, it, we're not sure if we want to, you know, buy into it. But as long as it, there's a, there's like this huge fan base that we could, uh, if you could prove that to us, um, you know, we'll be happy to help. So that's why um, we decided to go with uh, Kickstarter. All right, most definitely. All right, uh, leading into that, uh, real quick before I hand it off to my partner, uh, I wanted to ask because. He, he did go to go through Kickstarter, and you, because you did mention the the fan base, uh, I was wondering why uh, the Castlevania series early on was uh, PlayStation and uh, console, and then moved to portable, then back a little bit to console, then mostly portable. Uh, how what inspired him, or what what made him decide to do Bloodstain in a lot of the consoles and in uh, in PC? えっと、ま、以前のアクマジョシリーズでは、ま、最初にあの、ま、コンシューマー向けの、ま、コンソールで、あの、作ってたり、あの、一旦なんかPSだったり、あの、PSの US のユーザーなんですね。で、USのユーザーさんって、ま、DSもちろん持ってるんですけども、やっぱりずっとこの、え、ま、デスクトップのこういったコンソール型のタイトルをすごい望んでると。で、それをま、なんとか今回実現しよう
So um, first of all, when we reached the goal and uh, when it exceeded uh, five million dollars, I was so happy and I was also very surprised. <laughs> but at the same time, at the same time, I'm I'm thinking in my head that I have to make all these like stretch goals. And <laughs> I, have, I don't have enough time to make stretch goals, and that was very very uh, hard and <laughs> um, you know. It was very hard for me to come up with the stretch goals. Yeah, it was, yes. and it was great to see that you know all the rewards that were yes. given out were you know were very deep and very uh, community focused, and you could tell that they, everyone appreciated what 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 would happen and what would what would show up as the the, the stretch goals. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, enough about Kickstarter. Let's uh, talk more about the game because this is what we're here for. Okay. あ、じゃあ、あの、ま、プラトセイノのことを話しながら、一応あの、あの、遊びながら話しましょうと。ことで。あ、ライト、あ、メビヒクトークアストゥウォッツハプニングアズ、アズイトハプンズ、アイト
That's why I always bring <laughs> it with me, you know. And um, before, last year, I believe, um, uh, we went to uh, Gamescom in Germany, mm -hmm. and uh, they actually got a whip ready for me. So oh, wow. for the for the presentation. So that's why I <laughs> now now I bring the whip everywhere I go. That's great. <laughs> okay, that's great. All right. Yeah. So all the games that I make have this uh, secret uh, uh, item, like secret wall. Oh, okay. So, so here's the secret item. In oh, for those of you at home, yeah, <laughs> little game tip. And the game finally, that'll, that'll still be there when the game comes out. Yes. Okay. Now we know the first secret. <laughs> I just wanted to point out, right? Um, I noticed in the starting in the starting page, um, the game overall has somewhat of a, a glass stained style. Um, could you explain to us a bit about that kind of inspir inspiration that went with that? えっと、ま、今回のゲームはいろいろそのステンドグラスみたいなあの、ま、結晶っていうのがあの、よく見られるんですけど、そこのま、結晶のそのま、ま、インフルエンスというかあの、なんていうか、どこから来たのかっていう
from there. Oh, okay. Yes. okay. So, yeah, basic RPG basic, system. Basic okay, RPG that's great. System. That's great. Very familiar to everyone. Uh, so there's no like a uh, specific uh, stats to level up. It's all automatic. えっと、あの、要は全部全体的にレベルアップするんじゃ、するんですかそれともそのあの、ま、具体的にあの、なんて言ったらいいんでしょうか。あの、ポイント、ま、ステータスが上がったりとか。えっと、ま、全体的にレ
、えー、っとあの五十嵐さんがなんかちょっとスピードランした動画があったんですけどこれは同じあ,あのあのデモなんですか今やってるのとあそうですね。Yes. Oh, this is the one. This okay. Is the same one. So、uh, I assume he plays the game a lot、uh, because he is the one who's developing it.、Uh, does it ever get I know it's bad. It's a weird thing to ask, but does he ever get tired of his own game that he just wants to move on and make another one? えっと毎回こういう風にあのまあすごいやっててすごいあの上手くなってるっていうっていうのもあるんですけど、まあこういうのをすごいやっててなんかたまにはなんかこう飽きたりとかまあなんか次の方に作りたいとかそういうのを考えたことってありますか？ああ、あの基本的に。あの作るのはそんなに飽きないんですよ。あのえっ、ー、とファンが、ま、待っててくれたりとかあのまあ戻って作っても作っても絶対に満足しないのでそういう意味ではそういうまあ別なものをっていうのもあるんですけどまあこれやってればとりあえずあのなんだろう待ってるくれる人がいると思うとそこら辺はね大丈夫ですね。So actually, I actually never get tired of it、um, because、um, every time I create a new game or like playing these kind of games, there's always something that I want to improve,、uh-huh. and it always、um, I'm always not satisfied with the game I make. So every time I make a new one, I I always want to improve it. So in terms of creating a game that's a similar system,、um, similar kind of game, as long as there's somewhere that I could improve, I, I would never get tired of it. That is amazing. That is awesome. Yeah. All right.、Um, I guess. Oh, boss! Boss time! Boss! boss. All right, I want to see this. All right, so the fine folks at home get to see a boss fight. Yeah. Maybe you could talk us through it. Ah, まあ boss のこうコメントをちょっと boss はですねあのちょっとあの E3 で出し出してちょっとあのユーザーさんからの評価がちょっとだけあんまり良くないのでこれからもうちょっと手直ししたいなと思ってます。Actually, we、um, introduced this to the at E3,、mm-hmm. but、um, at E3 when they all saw the boss, the boss,、uh-huh. uh, they didn't really like it so oh, much. Oh, really? So、um, we're gonna we're going to、uh, improve it and adjust it. Okay. So, so this isn't gonna be the final. This isn't going to be the okay. final. Okay. The boss has like two faces. <laughs> a belly face and a face face. The boss has two faces. Above, this 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 Uh, sailors,、oh. and that's the story. And when they come towards her,、um, the actual, the real part of it is the bottom part,、okay. which is the monster. So that's the story behind her. A different twist on a siren,、yes. pretty、yes. much. Yeah, that's cool. So what, what, what was it、uh, that the E3 fans didn't like so much about the the boss? えっと E3 のファンの人たちはあのボスのことはなどどこが嫌だったのかをちょっとえっとゲームのこの雰囲気に対してちょっと色がビビットなんですよ。でまずそこら辺とあとやっぱりちょっともうちょっと作り込みとか攻撃とかがちょっと単調なのでそこら辺をもうちょっと考えようかなと思ってます。So the, when the E3 fans looked at her,、um, they they thought that the, her well her design wasn't very fitting for the atmosphere, the dark、uh, atmosphere,、okay. and the color was very vivid.、Yeah. So we're planning to adjust it and keep it more、um, you know、uh, more blustering, gothic horror feel.、Okay. All right, that's cool. That's awesome.、Yeah. ここ And that's about it for the the E3 demo. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for playing that for us. That was great. Yeah, it was great, great to see it.、Um, so we got a couple more questions before we let you guys go. Yeah,、uh, like、um, on a personal.、Uh, recently, of course, we all know that、uh, the Olympics 2020 <laughs> is going to be held in Japan. How do you feel? How do you feel about the Olympics and like you know the fact that、um, you know video games was integrated in how they showed it to the world that okay. Olympics, Olympics are going to be in Japan. You see Mario there jumping up and down. How do you feel about that? まあえっとちょっと世間話の方に行くんですけど、はい、えっと今回あのオリンピックがまあ日本で開催されることになって、えっとまあえっとオリンピックのそのプロモーションがそのゲームキャラクターを使ったことに対してどう思いますか？あのまあえっとゲームキャラクターが日本の文化としてそのなんだろうな。まあ言ってしまえばサブカルチャーなのでそれがあのああいう表舞台に出てたっていうのがすごくなんか新鮮だったしすごく文化としてやっと認められてきたのかなっていう気がしました。Um, when I first saw that promotional video,、um, it was very surprising that they they took these 
game characters in, in the Olympic promotion and um, we we always consider video games as a subculture and not, a, oh, not an actual awesome. like a, yeah. you know a main uh, culture in Japan and oh, it was really? very new to find that uh, they use Japanese um, well video game characters as a as a main you know Japanese culture so yeah yeah that was very new and surprising okay that's good that's awesome. <laughs> uh, another one um, we all know that uh, the Nintendo Switch was just released recently um, do you plan on developing games for the new upcoming console or maybe a port Oh yeah, maybe a port. えっと、まあこの前のあのニンテンドースイッチのまああの発表されたんですけど、まあ今後そのスイッチでゲームを作るのかあのまあ今後あの作ると思いますか、それともあのまあポートも移植もあるのでまあどう思いますか。あ、この
that's that's the ramen place that we recommend. <laughs> All right. Going, yes. Ooh, okay. I'm, I'm definitely going there on my next trip. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Is there anything else that you might want to say about Bloodstain that we haven't already uh, talked about yet? えっと、ま、えっと、今喋った中で、あの、ま、ブラッドセインのことで何かあの、話したいこととか、なんかコメントしたいこととかありますか。ああ、そうですね。えっと、最後のコメントですね。最後のコメント、ま、ラストワードカ